unified poem, The Secret of the Machines. It's a memory poem. I'll read out the poetic lines. Listen it. We were taken from the old bed and the mine. We were melted in the furnace and the pit. We were cast and wrought and hammered to design. We were cut and fine and tooled and gauze to fit. Some water, coal and oil is all we ask. And a thousandth of an inch to give us play. And now, if you will set us to our task, we will serve you four and twenty hours a day. We can pull and haul and push and lift and drive. We can print and plow and weave and heat and light. We can run and race and swim and fly and die. We can see and hear and count and read and write. But remember, please, the law by which we live. We are not built to comprehend a lie. We can neither love nor pity nor forgive. If you make us sleep in handling us, you die. Though our smoke may hide the heavens from your eyes, it will vanish and the stars will shine again. Because for all our power and weight and size, we are nothing more than children of your brain. Is written by Rudyard Kipling. So in the author's introduction, Rudyard Kipling was born on December 30, 1865 in Bombay, India. He was educated in England but returned to India in 1882. He wrote The Jungle Book which made him hugely successful. He was the recipient of the 1907 Nobel Prize in Literature. He died in 1936. See the key points of the poem. In the fast moving world, we humans depend solely on technology and machines to make our life a comfort. In the beginning of the poem, the poet at first takes the machines to the top, but finally he says they are not miraculous creations. They are nothing more than creations of the human brain. See here, I am going to give the explanation stanza wise. See the first stanza, here we refer to the machines. Machines talk about themselves. The poet tells us about how the machines were produced. We, machines have our own origin in old bed and mines. We were made from metals and materials taken from the earth. The ore extracted was purified and melted in a furnace. It was cast in molds to make parts for us. Some of our parts were made by hammering the metal. According to some shapes, parts of the metal so obtained were cut and filed. They were transformed into tool that could be fitted into machines. That means here that poet says through the machines now how they were made. See the meaning of the cast. Put into mouths. Gauzed, measured, pit, cavity in the ground. See the second stanza a hundredth of an inch. That means a very little space and then 4 and 20 hours a day that means 24 hours a day day and night so here the machine says that they need only little water in order to run efficiently we require fuel like coal and oil in addition to water machines require a space of thousand inches to stand and work if you ask us to do some work, we will work tirelessly day and night. We can continue to work 24 hours a day. That means they are very effective. They are able to do the work the whole day. See the third stanza. Here, machines can do all kinds of works. So they say that we can pull, drag, push, lift, 
and dry. We can do printing work in a printing press. We can plow the field. In textile industries, we weave clothes. We provide people with light and heat. Running, speeding, swimming, flying and diving into the ocean are some of our tasks. We can see the things and hear sounds. We can read and write. See the fourth stanza. The feeling of the task. The feeling of a, a person. Here the feelings are lacking in the machines. So they say that we live according to certain laws and regulations. Don't forget them. They remember the people that who are making the machines. We are always truthful and faithful. We simply obey commands and we cannot tell a lie. We have no human feelings like love, sympathy or forgiveness. We simply work mechanically, unmindful of emotions. If you mishandle us, you are sure to die. Here you die. That means the operator meets with the death. Make a slip. What is make a slip? Commit a small mistake. That is called make a slip. When the commands are given to the machine, then the human being should be very careful. See the fifth stanza. So here again the machine says that we give out smoke. We everybody know that when machines work, they give out the smoke. So they say we give out smoke. The smoke rises high and hides the sky from your view. But the smoke does not linger there forever. Linger means stay. It gets drifted away and becomes diffused. Then you can see the heavenly bodies like stars twinkling bright in the sky. We are powerful. We are huge and we are heavy. In spite of everything, we are the brainchild of human beings. We owe our existence to the invention and innovations of human race. See the last line what they say is children of your brain. That means born out of your inventive ideas. That means only first they say that we are doing everything. We are doing everything. But at last they say that they are the children of the human brain. Only the humans can command the machines make the machines everything can be done only by the human beings so it tells to be very careful in handling the machines in the video subscribe